So Miles Murphy getting drafted at the end of the first round, 28th overall to the Cincinnati Bengals. I definitely love the fact that he's going to Cincinnati, joining DJ Reader at defensive tackle, Jackson Carmen, T. Higgins also. Cincinnati Bengals are definitely a team that, that show that they love Clemson Tigers. I love the scheme fit, 4-3. Miles Murphy's definitely a five technique outside the tackle, head up on the tight end, the six technique, can also slide inside and play the four eye. You know, I, I guess after Miles' freshman year, I, I was convinced that he was going to be a top 10 pick, if not top five. He was going to be the number one, number two defensive end off the board. I really felt like he was going to develop into an elite pass rusher, and that just never happened. And obviously that's why he definitely falls to the late first round. When you put it all together, his pro football focus grade, actually his freshman year was his best year. His best statistical season was his sophomore season. And honestly, last year, I, you know, I really felt like he didn't live up to the hype. The defense as a whole didn't live up to the hype. The defensive line was supposed to be the best we've ever had. That didn't live up to the hype. And, you know, Miles Murphy uh, plays a lot of a role in that. You know, as a freshman, I I mean, I think as Clemson Nation, we were convinced this kid's about to be an elite special player. Like I said, top 10, top five type of pick. Sophomore year, you know, really good season. He was dominant. Statistically, that was his best year. You know, I just thought junior year, this is his last year. He's going to put it all together. He's going to look like the top 10, top five pick. And he never did. You know, so I think a lot of teams are, are, are you know, worried about that. Why, why the regression happened from freshman, sophomore to junior season. Certainly players are supposed to get better. They're not supposed to get worse. And, you know, Miles is a guy that statistically got worse. Pro football focus grades were worse. And also stat-wise, he got worse as a junior. If you look at a guy like K.J. Henry, I mean, he was a guy that didn't come in ready to go, but he progressed and got better. Miles Murphy didn't. But again, love the pick. Obviously, the uh, talent is there. The upside's there. Running a 4-5-2, 6-5, 270 type of strength, power, speed, athleticism, all that's there, right? He has, you know, probably one of the, he's probably the more, one of the more athletic defensive ends in this entire draft. The talent is obviously there. He just has to be able to put it all together. Hopefully NFL coaching definitely gets him there. I'm not so sure with Lemansky Hall, he had exactly the best coaching in college. So I think he's a kid, huge upside. Obviously I think most kids coming out of Clemson are high character kids, so he's going to come in, work hard, great fit in their locker room. Hopefully that coach and staff can maximize this kid's potential because he has a chance to be, you know, pro bowl type impact player. And if you look at the defensive ends they have on their roster, Trey Hendrickson, Sam Hubbard, those two guys are probably going to start. But Miles Murphy, definitely going to see a lot of playing time. The Cincinnati Bengals defense got better, obviously, drafting Miles. And this is a team that, honestly, they're knocking on the door. I mean, they're close to winning a Super Bowl. They played in it two years ago. Last year, losing to Cincinnati, Kansas City Chiefs Ultimate Super Bowl champs. And so they're right there. Miles Murphy, I think, helps them. Uh, so I love the pick. Love the scheme fit. They run a 4-3 defense, and that's exactly the type of defensive end that Miles Murphy is. So go Tigers. I can't wait to watch them play.